Right. OK, so we're just going to be revising the basics today. Angles. OK, it's just um, we haven't done the angles for a while. So it was hopefully this will be a fairly straightforward uh, worksheet for you just to work through that. And just recapping the basics from, from angles. OK, so I'm just going to really quickly shoot through it from scratch just in case uh, you've forgotten it or maybe you haven't seen it before. I mean, Leo, I don't know if you're how comfortable you are with angles from from what you did at your previous school. So five or six bits and pieces we're going to work through today. So the first one is when we're talking about angles about a point. So with angles, think of everything as being a turn. So think of everything starting off with a clock sort of uh, facing at 12 o'clock. And if we turn round full all the way around until we're we're back facing the same direction. That is a 360 degree turn. And that, that's why I had the picture of the um, the sundials on the cover. OK, back in the olden days, they thought there were 360 days in a year and the sundial covered a whole year. So they made it all the way around a sundial to be 360 degrees. So that's our starting point. OK, so angles about a point total. Total 360 degrees. So that is a whole turn. OK, if you turn all the way around and you're facing where you started, that's 360 degrees. Now, what about a half turn then? So if we stay, we're starting, we're facing upwards. We turn around halfway around. So we're then facing downwards. That is obviously a half turn. And our half turn is, uh, is creating a straight line. You can see going from that 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. We've generated a straight line. So that half turn is 180 degrees. And we can say angles on a straight line total 180 degrees. So they are the first two rules. OK, so all the way around is 360. Halfway around generating a straight line is 180 degrees. OK, uh, the, the third one again, always starting from just facing straight upwards. OK, always start from facing straight upwards. If we go quarter of the way round, so we're now facing three o'clock, that is a quarter turn. So that's quarter of 360 or half of 180, that is 90 degrees. And that's what generates that right angle. That is a right angle there. Do you remember we just do a little right angle just by sort of completing the square on it? So the angles of a right angle uh, total 90 degrees. Now, another one we need to know is that the angles inside any triangle, if we call that angle X, we call that angle Y and we call that angle Z. We know that the three of them, when you add them together, always equal 180 degrees. So angles in a triangle. Total 180 degrees. OK, so the types of question we could be getting on this. So let me just quickly rattle through the types of question you could be getting. OK, so we could have a question like this. Uh, it's just going to come through in a second where we're told that that angle is 30 degrees. And you need to work out that angle there, which is X. Well, those two angles together add up to 180. So X would need to be 180 take away 30, which is 150 degrees. Now, be careful if the question goes and says to you, Explain why you've done this. You know what what maths have you used to do this? Don't just go and say, well, I did 180 degrees and I took away 30 degrees and that gave me 150. You've got to explain why it's 180 degrees. All right. So the reason for this would be angles on a straight line total 180 degrees. So some of the questions on the worksheet might require you to just explain why it's 150 degrees. So that one would be angles on a straight line. OK, so just to recap those angles all the way around there have to add up to 180 degrees. So if part of it's 30, the rest of it must be 180 take away 30. All right, same if you've got angles about a point, all right? So we've got a situation like this, where they tell us that that's a right angle. They might tell us that that's 40 degrees. They might go and tell us that that's 120 degrees, say, sorry, that's 120 degrees. All right, and then the question's asking you to work out the bit that's left over. Let's go and call that, for example, uh, X. OK, now this on this situation is not angles on a straight line like the one at the top. This is the angles all the way around. 
All right, so these are having to add up to 360 degrees. This is the angles all the way around, okay, adding up to 360 degrees. So for this one to work out what X is, you start off with 360 and you take away all the other ones added together. So we've got the 120, then you'd add on the 40, then you, that, you'd add on that 90 degree angle, and you take all of that away from 360, and that would give you angle X, all right? So you could have angles about a point. Uh, you might obviously then have angles in a triangle. So let's just squeeze this one in at the top. All right, let's go and say that was 40 degrees. Let's say that was 100 and, uh, 105 degrees. And we had to work out that one. Well, because angles in a triangle add up to 180, to work out X there, you're going to do X. X is equal to 180, and you take away the 40 added together with the 105. Right, OK, so what else do we need to do? We need to um, do angles in a quadrilateral. Now, a quadrilateral is a four sided shape. OK, so there we go. One, two, three, four. Now, the way to remember this one a quadrilateral really breaks down into two triangles. You've got this triangle up here, and those angles in there add up to a triangle's angles, which is 180 degrees. But you've got a second triangle, you've got a second triangle down here, and those angles also add up to 180 degrees. So what do the angles in the whole of the quadrilateral add up to? Well, it's two lots of 180. So angles in a quadrilateral total 360 degrees okay so you could get a question that's giving you three out of four of those and you've got to work out the fourth one okay so we need to know that uh, other things to look at i just wanted to remind you of the special triangles all right so you could have an equilateral triangle that's just going to come on to the next slide in a minute number six so an equilateral triangle, that's when all three sides are the same length and all three angles are the same size. OK, so it's 180 degrees divided by three. So every single angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. So that's the first of the special triangles. The other one is the isosceles triangle. This is where two sides are the same length and the two angles at the bottom are the same size angle, okay? So be on the lookout for an isosceles triangle, okay? And then finally, the last point I wanted to make, all right, if you've got a couple of lines, a couple of lines here, that angle there, let's say that angle there was 50 degrees, that angle over there, X will also be 50 degrees, okay? Any opposite angles are the same. When you've got two lines crossing, creating a cross, the opposite angles are equal. And again, if they asked you to explain why X was 50 degrees here, you must go and give the reason that vertically opposite angles are equal. So that's a quick revision of all the basic um, rules for angles. So if you would like to make a start on that worksheet, please, hopefully it's dropped. Let me just go and see if any of you started on it already. Yeah, Poppy's done a couple. So it's obviously there. So if you could go and make a start, please, on the um, the angles worksheet on Dr. Frost, uh, I'll, I'll go and share my screen in a minute and help you with any you get stuck on. All right. If there's any of those bits you need me to go over again or to go back to some earlier slides, please just shout because I, I appreciate I've done that really quickly. OK, thank, thanks, guys. If you get on with that work now, that'd be good.